One component that's often overlooked with the Beaver Builder plugin are the column controls. So let's say, for example, on our about page, we wanted to move these around. So you can see individually the items will come up. And we know that this whole area is a big row and we're used to dealing with rows. However, when you hover over an element, uh, one of the, so we have the movement, the edit, the duplicate, but we also have this, which is the edit column. When you click on that, you'll see the move column, which will let us shift the column around from space to space. But additionally, we can duplicate this whole column. We could delete the whole column where you could reset some widths or reset the row width. But most importantly, we have column settings as well. These work very similarly to row settings, except that now that we're dealing with the column. So for example, we could change the background of this column to, let's say, a gradient. Clearly, artistically, that's a terrible choice, but you get the idea. And if you're not aware, additionally, columns can be created on the fly as well. For example, let's say I wanted to create a third column with these two here. I could grab an element or a new element. And if you pull it out to the side, you'll see it wants to create a third column. And we can do that there. So just in the same way that we manipulate our rows with Beaver Builder all the time, we can also manipulate the columns.